So I got a little new setup or whatever. So I figured, you guys, because I'm showing y'all my spring collection, and I ain't want to take all of my perfumes and stuff over there. I said, I'm going to just do it right here where all my perfumes already are. But anyways, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I knew it wasn't going to be a lot of people in here because I'm going live early. And I know y'all got a job and y'all probably, a lot of people probably ain't even uh, at home right now. But whatever. Hey, y'all. Hey, Sam. Nadia. All right. Paco, find you some business. Come here. Uh, look at my little baby. Mm-hmm. It's mommy little baby. All right, now go sit down. Scram. Go get on the couch. Go. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So today, you guys, I'm going to be going through my spring perfumes. Um, for, you, for, all of you guys, uh, for all of you guys who don't know me, my name is Amber Chantel. And um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, so let's let's just go ahead and get right on started. If you are not subscribed to me, make sure that you do that. And make sure that you follow me on Instagram. My name is spelled the same way, Amber Chantel. And make sure you like this video. And if you don't, y'all know what you can do. Mm -hmm, go about your business. So, y'all, these perfumes, i already been wearing these, like, for months. Thank you. I don't even wear lipstick like that, so, but, you know, today I said I'm going to put a little lipstick on because it matched my nails. So, I'm trying to be cute. Mm-hmm. But, um, so, we're going to go ahead and get started, you guys. I've been wearing these perfumes for the last two months because I'm getting tired of the winter and the winter perfumes. I know y'all are, too, so I've been wearing these, and I'm going to show y'all what all I have for the spring. <clears throat> so... Let's get right on into it. This uh C Fiori, y'all. This uh this is by Armani. I actually wore this the other day, and when I tell you, when you wear this, you guys, sometimes you forget that it's on because sometimes you really don't smell it, but it lasts like a really long time. It lasts like all day, and then you'll just get you'll get whips of it on you. Like it smells so good. And it's like a strawberries and cream perfume. And when you get a whiff of it, you just be like, oh, like something smell good. Like that's what this perfume gives you. This is a good, like a good transition perfume from the winter to the spring because it's still sweet, but it has like a, just a little springy floral little thing going on, but it's so pretty and I love it, love it, love it. She said that's her current favorite one. Yeah, it's bomb for real, for real. I love it. So the next one, I see y'all be ruining stuff for me because I was real excited about this perfume because and I wanted it, y'all. With baby powder. Oh, I bet you that smell good. But um, y'all, I really wanted this because I smelled it at Sephora. And when I smelled it, this is the Twilly um, Hermes Au Pervé. This is the flanker of like the original Twilly. Y'all, when I smelled this, I was like, okay, this is different. I really like it. And I was so excited. I couldn't wait to get it or whatever. Wait till I found it at like a good price. Soon as I get home, I let Dre smell the perfume. <clears throat> Mind you, he was there when I smelled it the first time. He said he liked it. It smell like pencil shavings. Pencil shavings. Then, hey, Carolyn. Then, uh, he saw some pencil shavings. Then somebody in my comments said that it smelled like pickle juice. They said it smelled like pickle juice, y'all. So now when I smell it, that's what I be thinking of, like... I guess it do. Maybe it do kind of smell a little bit like that. Oh, y'all, this. <laughs> See, now I'm going to have to get rid of it. Yeah, they said it smelled like, oh, my God. I did not smell pickle juice at all until somebody told me in the comments that it smelled like pickle juice. And now I wonder what that note is. 
Dang, they ruined it for me. Oh, well. They didn't ruin it. I got all this mess up here. So, anyways, like, this is in my collection. Um, but make sure that y'all test this first. Don't just go and buy it. Because I actually did like this at first. And now it's giving pencil shavings and pickle juice. I don't even know how that happened. But, uh, yeah. Let me move all this mess. I got some water back here. I be getting thirsty. Um, mm, I got a little wine. I just got off of work. Mm. I just got off of work. That's why I got my little work clothes on. I dressed up today. Even though I work from home. I said, let me uh, just put on a little something so I can feel like, you know, I'm in the office or something. It kind of just make you feel better. All right, you guys. So... The next perfume in my collection. Oh, this is going to be a long video. Let me just go ahead through this. Okay, so this is the uh, Mon Perry. This is a very good spring perfume. Now, y'all know that I really like the uh, Trezor Midnight Rose in the wintertime. It was giving me life. But this gives me life in the spring. Even though I haven't been wearing it that often because you see it's still full. I had it for years. Drake love this perfume. He be like, ooh, this smells so good. Ooh, it do smell good. Yeah, I need to wear this more, for real. I, actually, I'm going to put this on today. But this smells so good. I don't know nobody that would not like this perfume. It's a safe blind buy for anybody to just buy for somebody else or anything. Like, this is really good, for real. This like a floral. It's like a fruity floral, for real. It's real good. So that's so that's a good one for your spring collection. This if y'all trying to expand y'all spring collection. Okay, so the next one that I have is the My Way. Oh, y'all, this. Oh, I love how this smell. Oh, I love how this smell. Y'all, for real, I'm gonna be smelling like everything. Shorty swing my way. Oh, swing my way. This smells so good that my way. It is so pretty. It's different to me. Now, um, people say it smells like the uh, Givenchy Leandrity, which it really does. It smells like this. But I like this one better, y'all. I just do. This one just has just, oh, it's just something different about this one. It's a little fruitier. This one. Um, this one smell real thin. I don't even know how to explain it, y'all. It just smell like watery thin tuberose, which is still good. Now, the longevity of this one, it lasts longer. This thing lasts, lasts. It lasts longer than this one. But I like how this smell better. Like, I just, I just do. But, um, I guess you could layer on and it's still gonna give you a nice little vibe or whatever. So, these are both... Well, tuberose is my favorite note, so both of these have tuberose in them, and they kind of give you that same little vibe. Mm hmm Y'all quiet today. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like how quiet y'all are today. Like, y'all need to start saying something. Y'all are y'all probably at work. That's probably what it is. Y'all probably sneaking on the phone trying to uh trying to watch me. I ain't trying to get nobody fired, baby, because I ain't gonna be there to pay nobody bills. <clears throat> yeah, that this my way. It is a pretty bottle. I love that little navy blue. Okay, so what else we got? She said we listening. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, so the next one that we have, y'all know this is a oldie but goodie. Y'all know this Versace uh absolute. Bright crystal. Now, some people don't like this. Hey, girl. Opinionated. Some people don't like this. I happen to like it. To me, it kind of reminds me of Bombshell by Victoria's Secret. And a lot of people don't like that either. I like this. It's a real... It's a rose. But it's like a... Uh, it's very... It's very in your face. Yeah. She said she like it. I like it too. And this is something you get compliments on. Because when I tell you like the... Projection is good. Like, people gonna smell you when you put this on. That's how I found out about it. Because somebody had it on. And I was like, oh, what is that? What is that or whatever? And she told me what it was. 
And I was like, okay. You know, some people don't like to tell you what they have on. But she did tell me what it was. Um, but sometimes they be lying. If you ever notice, like, if you ask somebody what they have on, they'll tell you the brand. You'll be like, what? Ooh, that smells so good. What is that? They'll be like, this Versace. Girl. I know perfume. You can't just tell me it's Versace. Like, tell me what, like, what kind it is. But they'll just be like, yeah, this is, this is Versace. Girl, I, girl, bye. That mean they don't want to tell you. If they just tell you the brand, that mean they don't want to tell you what it is. Exactly. You know they be doing that, just going to tell you the brand of it. That, this that buying number nine. Girl, which one? Either you not, either you don't know perfume like that, so you can't really tell me which one it is, or you just trying to be funny. But, yeah. All right, so the next one that we have is the, uh, now this one a lot of people, uh, she said guilty. Yeah, you be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she said she be doing it. Mm -hmm. Don't do that to people. Sometimes they just tell you the wrong, the wrong one, the wrong perfume. So this is the uh, Mont Blanc Femme Individual. This is a real pretty fragrance, you guys. Um, and it lasts. Now this is like a nice everyday perfume. Uh, it's gonna stay on you all day long. It's like a rose perfume, but it has some spice to it. It has like a top note of um, pepper, like pink pepper or whatever. So if you don't like pink pepper, you might not like this. I, yeah, it's a, it's some pink pepper in there, but it's real pretty. Like it's a good price, and it's like a real, just a real nice perfume. And um, I love how it stays on you. It's good for the office. It's well, anybody even in the office for real. Well, shit, it's good for every day. Mhm, mm but. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> Bath and Body Works. <laughs> They're going to be like, which one? <laughs> which Bath and Body Works fragrance? Okay, so the next one that we have is, this is, y'all, I talk about this one so much. This 360, I'll start wearing the fragrance. Yeah, it's like, okay, if, I don't mind somebody, <clears throat> I don't mind like, okay, y'all, of course, I don't mind people like getting perfumes that I have, but I wouldn't be talking about them, but I don't like people like really like close to me to have my perfume. Thank you. Like if you are somebody that's like my best friend or you like, I don't know, like my cousin, if somebody I'm gonna be around, I don't want you smelling like me. Cause we're gonna be in the same vicinity. We may know the same people. So what if I mean if if my man love this on me, what if you come around smelling like me? <laughs> I'm just saying, I ain't gonna say nothing gonna happen, but you know, you don't wanna give nobody no reason. Mm. Paco, stop whining. Hold on, let me put him on this couch. He getting old. He's like he can't. He can't get up on the couch. Dang. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> yeah, this is the Rose Perielis 360. Y'all know I talk about this. Ooh. This, like, this is one of my number one hot weather, warm weather perfumes. Oh, I just love how this smells. It is such a pretty, just... A aqua rose now somebody told me <clears throat> that the uh like me and my girls we'd be in a group chat like perfume group chat and they was talking about the new delina and the new delina i um, i was looking at the notes and stuff they talking about it's an aqua rose i said that smell that sound like it smelled like 360 rose periodis and i looked at the notes and i was like the notes look real similar, y'all. So when I get my hands on like a sample of that Delina, that new Delina, um, the rose one or whatever, I forgot what it's called, the new Delina. But when I get my hands on that sample, I'ma smell these next to each other because this probably a good dude. This lasts all day and everything. So I can't wait to smell that new Delina because I looked at them notes mm -hmm. and it was real similar. So we'll see. For all I know, 
They might have been looking at my videos and said, ooh, she love that one. That's that's a good one. I barely ask because some people straight out lie. Yeah, they do be lying. I didn't have some, y'all, for real. I had, I asked a girl where she got something from. Actually, it was the older lady. It was the older lady. And she, I was like, where you get that from? And actually, I was really just trying to be nice. And I was hyping her up. Cause she had on something that was country anyway and i said oh that's cute where you um girl you be dressed and where you get that from ah uh, because i don't be telling no nah, i don't be telling people i was like oh, okay girl I, oh, okay i ain't want it no way i really was just hyping you up but continue um so the next perfume that we have is the uh let's go who this this uh Versace, not this ain't no damn Versace, that's that damn wine. This is the KKW Crystal Gardenia. This is a good, very good affordable fragrance, y'all. Very good, like this. I love how this smell. It's like a perfect balance of like it's gardenia, but it has like some tuberose in it, and it smells ooh, perfecto, beautiful, love it, like. Kim, you put your foot into this perfume. You put your foot in it. And um, it's 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 bomb. It, it is very bomb, y'all. So if you y'all haven't tried this one, you can get this at a good price. Uh, cause Kim clowned on this one right here. Yeah, this one is really good. She said the bottle is pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all know uh I like them long bottles. That's what they say anyway. I don't know why they say I like them long. But anyways, um, it's a it's a nice fragrance. Now, the next perfume that we have is this Dama Bianca. It's just it's just sad because this smells so good and I just cannot smell this on me. And y'all know this is an expensive perfume. Now, I was gifted this perfume. And I told the truth in the video. I said, it smelled good. I said, it smells good. But I was like, it's not a good projector. You know, it smelled like creme brulee. And even, even when you spray it on something, you smell it on that, like, until you wash it. So it's not like it's just you know, a bad perfume, it just doesn't project. It's a skin scent. That's what they call it. Can't anybody else smell it on you? I have honestly not worn this out yet. So I don't know if anybody else can smell it on me for real. I know when I asked Dre if he liked it, he did have to get like on me. He got on me and he was like, oh, it smell good. But he was all up on me. You know what I'm saying? He had to just put his nose all up in me. So... I was like, I don't know. Maybe I do need to wear it out and see. Because if this has musk in it, I can't smell musk at all. I forgot the name of it. When you, anosmic, I think that's what it's called. Or whatever, when you can't smell something. But I can't smell musk. So it could be that. But I just think it's a light perfume for real, for real. Um, But it smells so good, y'all. It smells so good. So, it's like I don't want to get rid of it. But at the same time, am I going to wear it? Because y'all know I like to... I like for people to smell me. So, if I if it's something that I can't even smell on myself. And I feel like nobody else can smell me. I ain't going to wear it. And if I do wear it, then I'm going to just spray something else on top of it. So, it's like... I don't know, Miss Dama Bianca. That's a real... That's a real classy bad B I T C H bad bitch name Bianca Dama Bianca, but you can't nobody smell you, so you ain't no Dama Bianca. I don't know what you are. Um, yeah. So the next um perfume that we have is this is the I'm gonna tell the truth, y'all. Okay, so. This is the um, Girl of Now. This is the Girl of Now Forever by Ellie Saab. I like this. Um, this has lemon. I think it has like some lemon in it. And it's like rose and lemon. That's kind of what I smell. 
raspberry, rose, and lemon. Like that. The rose is really strong. Um, hmm. This is a projector. This is very strong. <sighs> she said affordable is what I'm shopping for. Hey, shoot, I know that's right. So this is, yeah, Girl Now Forever. I like this, but I have to be in the mood for it. So I can't say like I love it. Um, It was a blind buy. I actually bought it from MJ. Uh, and she uh and i bought it from her and it was like a blind buy i like it but i don't know i like it but i don't love it that's what i'm gonna say yeah now this is the lancome i when i got that when i said it kind of reminds me of the idol this is a good spring perfume um i like the idol better than the um girl of now shine i like this one better <laughs> um so this is really pretty this is this is okay this is okay yeah you said you had a girl of now now i like the original girl of now the original girl of now is is bomb i do like that one better that one i ain't got no complaints about her this one is a little sharp this one is a little sharp and just mm, girl of now huh she a little ratchet like just a little bit you know how I always said that Michael Kors uh, Blo Sexy Blossom was ratchet? She going in that lane just a little bit. She ratchet on the weekends, I guess. All right, because she, she just loud, like, for real, and strong. Just, girl, tone it down just a little bit. Um, So, the next perfume that we have is... Now, this I do really love. This is the... Uh, this is by Express, and this is the Love Express. It's MJ. She's she the one that like told everybody about this perfume, and it is a very pretty perfume. So she gave me one, and um, it's so crazy, y'all. How like we'll talk about a perfume that like don't even be an expensive perf perfume. Like this is an Express perfume. So she started talking about this perfume, and now. People want to wanna charge $100 for it. And, like, y'all, please stop. They did the same thing with the, um with that Roberto Cavalli Gemma. It used to be just as cheap as all the rest of the Roberto's. And then people start buying it. And, yeah. Thank you. This smells so good. I don't know nobody that would not like this perfume. It's just... Simple and pretty, a nice rose. It has like some sweetness to it. Some type of fruit. Some type of fruit. It almost has like a a Chanel Old Tendre type of feel. Just like type of feel or whatever. I hope you can find this at an affordable price because it should be affordable. Because it was before, you know, MJ started talking about it. But this is a very pretty, like, nice addition to your collection. Like, this is something you'll get compliments on. You can wear it, like, every day in, like, the spring and summertime. It's just feminine and just pretty. Now, I'm going to tell y'all about something I ain't really been talking about for real. And I've been loving it. So, this is the, y'all know I love the Aqua Di Gioia. But this air, the air DiGioia, baby, this air one is good. Very, I love this. Now, I love a nice marine air ozone type of perfume. Now, the ocean one, the ocean one I plan to take back because that one does not last. I love how it smells. I love how the ocean one smells. I love the bottle. When I smelled it, I had to have it, which was a mistake. Always test the perfume out if you can to see if it lasts. But it don't, it don't last. This air one lasts. It projects. This is the next, this is the next one next to the Aqua Di Gioia. Like this one smells so good. Oh, they got a sale. 40% off. Hmm, I gotta go see what they got. But um, the Air Di Gioia, 
Oh my God, y'all. It is so pretty. And I don't have nothing else that really smells like this one. Now, it doesn't have, as far as like how it compares to the Aqua Di Gioia, it doesn't have like that lemon in it. And I think that's what a lot of people don't like about the original one is like, it it's so lemon heavy. This one doesn't have the lemon. So it's, it's a little more, I don't know, to me, I feel like it's just a little more agreeable and, and like most people would really like this. But y'all try this. If you out somewhere, if they have it uh, on display or something, I think it's real pretty, y'all. Love the performance of it. I like it. Okay, you guys. So, the next perfume that we have, this one just sitting up in my collection. I forgot I had this thing. I thought I left this over somebody's house. This is the um, Haiku. Now, this affordable. This is by Avon. I think this is Avon, y'all. If I'm not mistaken. This is old school. Very old school. This is a Zen perfume. Like a spa. Very serene. Floral. White flowers. Like almost like a, a bamboo smell to it. But it really lasts. But it's like a, you know, it's a little cheapy. It smells very clean. This like that get out the shower. For real, this something you just, this something you kind of just put in your bag. If you, well, a weekend bag, a whole bag. If you got a little, I don't want to say a whole bag, but if you got a little overnight bag, you leave this in the bag. Or maybe you can just leave this at his house or something. Because it ain't nothing you going to really miss like that because it ain't even that expensive. But it's just something to put on, you know, if you take a shower and just spray this on and get in the bed. It's it's a pretty, real, like, summer, spring, very um, clean, fresh type of floral. Mmm. Like a, a, it's almost kind of like an Isimiyaki type of perfume. But, I don't know, I think it might be a little more wearable than Issy, because a lot of people don't like Issy. But, if y'all haven't tried the Haiku... It's a nice hot weather, like perfume for real. I like it. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. She's I use a love haiku. Yo, they do have some other versions. They have a pink one too. And how you doing? Um, by the way, I ain't seen you in a long time. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice one, y'all. So <sighs> nice little cheapy. Leave it in your little, your little hoe bag or whatever, whatever kind of little bag, weekend bag. Leave it at your man house. You can have two or three of them because they're so affordable. Okay, so the next perfume that we have is, well, speaking of, this, this is like in the same type of, you know, category. So this is the Glow. This is a J-Lo Glow. I don't know if it's just me, but I can never keep my tops to the J-Lo Glow. So, um, they always fall off the little cap, but y'all, I remember when this came in back, came out back in the day. And, um, this is a, you talking about a clean, fresh perfume, soapy. You have to like soapy, a soapy smell. If you don't like a soapy smell, like you ain't gonna like this baby. Cause that's all you get from this. Actually, you guys. I like to wear it. This is, if you go to the gym, well, I'm talking like I be going to the gym. I do go to the gym every now and then, you know. I go two weeks at a time, then I get tired of going. Uh, Something in there give you a headache in the Issy. But, yeah, it's it's very, uh, the Issy is a very white, heady, white floral perfume. But, I don't know, y'all. This is a real pretty perfume. This is something that will be like somebody's signature perfume. And every time they come around, you just know it's them. When you smell it, it's strong. This uh, projects or whatever. This is like one of them signature perfumes. Like, here she come. Because I smell her uh, perfume. This J-Lo Glow. But yeah, it's a nice, affordable. You know, you got to have some affordable pieces in your collection. This is a nice, affordable, you know, spring, hot weather, summer perfume. And let's get on to this OG Issy. I know some of y'all don't like this. If you don't like Issy, let me know. 
I know some of y'all, she said she can't stand clean scents like that. Yeah, some people just don't like them. A lot of people don't like Issy. I happen to like it. I think it's pretty. I think it's so clean and fresh. I like a fresh perfume. Sometimes you just want to smell just nice and clean. Mm, I love it, y'all. And I think it's something sexy about it. I feel like it's something feminine about it. Like, really pretty. She said, yo, her college signature scent. It is strong, clean, and sweet. That's how this is. That's how the Issy is, too. It's very just a pretty clean perfume and it lasts and it's only an edt this is the um lude issy uh i like this perfume i don't care what y'all say about miss issy okay it miss issy is like shoot she like the auntie that can still still like to party still look good <laughs> they be like auntie you still got a bad shape baby you look good that's how that that is is. Oh, it's the same one. All right, y'all. So the next one that I have is the Issy Floral. She said she don't like the flanker. <laughs> Soon as she said that, here we go. This is the Issy Rose. This is a flanker of the uh, Issy Miyake. Now, the Issy Miyake Pure, it's like the EDP. I'm not the biggest fan of that one. That one is like really strong. She said she want to try the Pure Nectar. I think I tried it before. It was okay. I kind of want to try it again to see if I like it. Because my taste change all the time. And I love the bottle. But this is the Floral. And I actually really like this one. I like this. It smells. It has that same Issy DNA. It just has like some added rose to it. And I find it to be pretty. Let me spray her. Mmm real fresh real fresh issy with just just some rose on top the mongrel on no i haven't tried that one i only have the original mongrel on which i really like it i do kind of want some type of flanker of it though so yes this is a really good one this has good performance it really lasts oh speaking of miss j-lo this is the miami glow i really like the miami glow i think that the miami glow is just now, when I first bought it, I didn't like it. I ain't gonna lie. Because everybody was saying, it smelled like coconuts. It smelled like coconuts. And I love the smell of coconut. So, when I smelled it, I was like, it don't give me coconuts. It really doesn't. It doesn't give me coconuts, but it gives me... Oh, I don't even... It's hard to explain. A morgue! Oh, my God. <laughs> she said it smelled like a morgue. How you know what a morgue smell like? You been up in there? You been dead before? But, uh, it smelled good to me, y'all. I really like this perfume. It has like a, it has a different kind of smell. I can't really even, it's like a tropical, it's the tropical form of the regular glow. I think it's more wearable, actually, than the original, than the original glow, for real. But, um, I happen to like this. It smells good to me. It's kind of smells like I got some peach and stuff in there. All right, so the next Miss Opinionated Sense. She is very opinionated. She said it smelled like a morgue. <laughs> okay, so the next um, perfume that I have is the Bora Bora. This is the Bora Bora. This is a really nice, affordable fragrance. I like this. It has, it has tuberose in it. And you know if it got tuberose in it, I'm very partial to it already. Um, this is just, I love this. Mmm. Oh, my God. This is an oldie. You can tell by the bottle. It's old. I mean, you can, you know what I'm saying? You can just, you can tell it's more of a classic fragrance just by how it looks. But, baby, this smells good. It is very affordable. It lasts. I got. I've gotten compliments on this. This lady, she, she's like, oh, you smell good. I was walking out of, um, uh, I don't know, probably some food place. Yeah, she said I like board board too. Your mama stole it. It's pretty, like for real, for real. It don't smell dated to me at all. It it just it has uh it's sweet. It's floral. Um, 
and it has just like this tropical just uh a tropical island type of smell to it like like you on a tropical island it smells very good you guys so if you haven't tried that and this baby lasts like this is a nice lasting perfume and it's cute it got the little iridescent little bottle to it i like it mm-hmm smell good to me all right so the next perfume that we have is what we got now oh yeah now i know i'm starting i don't know this is the bond number nine madison avenue now y'all know that sometimes people say something smell like something else and then i kind of don't like it no more well it is very patchouli heavy i used to love this perfume i mean i still like it but I guess the fact that Dre doesn't like it, it kind of, I mean, I still wear stuff that he don't like anyway, but I don't know. He just made me just, I don't know. Now this has patchouli in it. It has, um, it has like green apple in it. So it has like a little bit of tartness to it. It has rose. To me, it smells like Mad About You, if you remember that from Bath and Body Works. It smells like Mad About You, but with a whole bunch of patchouli in it. Like right now, it smells good to me. But sometimes it smells like too much patchouli. Um, it just depends on like whenever I smell it. Sometimes it is very patchouli heavy. But every time I be trying to trick him, I try to trick J Dre. Because you know how sometimes he'll say he likes stuff and then he don't like it. Sometimes I'll just, I just ask him every time. You like what I got on? And I'll put this on. And he never like it. Like... <laughs> Because I be wanting to say, yeah, you said you ain't like it. But every time I, I try to spray this, he'll be like, that's that, uh, that, uh, perfume that smell like soil. It smell like some soil or something. I be like, you don't even, you don't even know perfumes like that. Okay, but, um, I actually still wear that sometimes. So, it's gonna stay in my collection. Okay. Um, so the next perfume that we have, oh, I can't forget about her. This is a very good hot weather, warm weather. This is so just like a serene, calming perfume. It lasts. This is the Givenchy Ange de Monde and Le Secret. And it took me forever to buy this because I liked it. I would smell it, but it was something that just made me not want it because it say demon. It say demon on it. And it just made me not want it because I'm like, why would, I, why would you make a perfume that got a demon? Some type of demon in the name. I ain't bringing that shit in my house. But, um, yeah, I, I bought it anyway. And I actually really like it. Ugh. It's so pretty. I don't see nobody not liking this. It has like a, it has tea in it. Like it has like tea and uh, cranberries. Uh, I think it's cranberries, either pomegranate or cranberry. Yeah, she said cranberry. And it's just so, it's like a, and it's like a cranberry feel. Like that ocean spray commercial and they be in the water where the cranberries is. That's what it smells like. Cause it smells like so fresh. She said that's what she thought. That's why she didn't buy it. Right. Like, why would you call it? Why would you call this something about a demon? Angel, demon. That, I don't play about good stuff like that. But I do sage my house or whatever. So, if this perfume has brought any evil in here, it's gone by now. Mm -hmm. She said, yeah, cool on dark fragrance. All right, so the next perfume that we have is, um, I guess I can do these together because they, since we already know the cat is out the bag that Miss uh, Stella McCartney ripped off this fragrance. The cat is out the bag. She said she got the Issy Flankers. Oh, I never tried the Shades of Sunrise. Um... But yes, I bought this one first. Y'all, I love how this smells. This perfume does not last. This perfume don't last. It don't last. Oh my God. And it's just a shame that it don't last because I, la I love how it smells. 
uh, it just reminds me of back in the day for some reason in college but i love how this smells and it's hard to even describe how it smells and i almost smell it like it got a little tuberose in it that's probably why i love it so much um but it's sweet and floral and smell like it has some tuberose in it but baby then i tried this kenzo uh jordan amore and found out it was the same exact fragrance y'all let me and this one came out first mind you let me that just show you how they just be reformulating not even reformulating because it's actually the same perfume let me spray this because i know i ain't crazy let me make sure yes mm. These are like the same. These are the same perfumes. These are the same perfumes, y'all. Now, I will say this one might last a little bit longer. What's the Yes, that's the worst. A perfume that does not smell, that does not last, I will get rid of it so quick. Because it don't do nothing but make me mad. So, this one, I love it so much. That's the only reason why I still got it. But I look like I look like I got mad. Probably threw it across the room. It's broke right here. Cause why would you smell that good and then don't last? But this one lasts a little bit longer. It's light too though. It's not real strong last all day. It might last a little longer than that, but it's still not a real strong perfume. That let me know right there that they ripped off the perfume. You ain't even make the perfume better. You ain't even improve it. You ain't even make it last longer. You just said. I'm going to take the notes and just put it on out there. You should at least made it more intense. You ain't even did that. You ain't even... That's... Hmm. You going to appropriate a perfume? Okay, so... Shoot. Oh, the last one that I have... Oh, I got two more. This one... I was going to get rid of this. This was the Flora... Uh, the Flora Fresh by Gucci. So this is like the flanker of like the real, you know, fresh one for like for spring and summer and all of that. Golly, I'm over here dropping shit. So this is the one that's really fresh, like for the spring. This one lasts really good too. It's not, it's different than everything that I have. It smells like Gucci Flora, which I, I used to have Gucci Flora and used it all up. Gucci Flora is a good perfume. Um, but when I smelled this in Sephora years ago, I was like, oh, I got to have it. I had to have it. It smells so good to me. But baby, when I tell you I never wear this perfume, I never wear it. And I don't know why, because I wanted it so bad and it smells so good to me. But for some reason, I just don't ever. It smells good. This, this smells really good. I'm going to have to start wearing it. I actually love how this smells now that I'm smelling it again. So, but you know, your nose goes through different. Some years you won't, you won't wear something. That's why sometimes I don't get rid of certain things. Cause I know I might like it again. So it's going to be this, the, this spring and summer, I'm going to be wearing this one. Okay. The last perfume that I have, I mean, I got some other perfumes, but. They more all year round, I guess. This one don't need to be no longer. Oh yeah, I got my Paradiso. Uh, what was she? Y'all know I love this for the spring. Roberto Cavalli Paradiso, love this. Um, I just do. I just love this. This is this is like I get compliments on this, y'all, for real. I really do. Um. It lasts really good. It's affordable. Oh, we got some wine. I forgot it was up there. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. That's good. Um, That's that Black Girl Magic wine. I don't know if y'all ever tried that. I think it's called Black Girl Magic. Um, My mama bought it for me. But it's good. She said, I sold, you sold all, oh, you sold them all except for the uh, Gemma. Well, okay, I'll let you get away with that because Gemma is my favorite one. I love Gemma. But I like this one too. This one smells really good. Mmm. She said, I'm curious about the whole line. Yeah, you got to get into those Roberto's, baby. 
Roberto is just to, he he has very affordable perfumes. They are good quality, y'all. And they be sexy. Like I feel like all of his perfumes are like like perfumes you could get compliments on. He just makes a good perfume. Like that's just how I feel. I love his perfumes. They my favorite. But um this smells good. It's almost in the same line of like it's like a a, a citrus, a bright sparkling citrus type of thing she said the pineapple oh you tired of jasmine hmm yeah but i love it I, I think it smells good but it reminds me i mean a little bit of this kind of it's in the same line same category as the versace eros pore film i love this one this is this is the best one to me as far as the poor films. Well, it's only two. The original one. I like this one better. And mm, it smells good, y'all. It has it's a it's sweet. The original one I still have. I haven't worn this and I don't know how long. But the original one, let me see what it's let me see what it's giving me. Okay. It ain't bad. It's not bad at all. I can't even say it smell bad. Like, it smells good, but she said you need a makeup tutorial. Nah, because don't nobody be watching them. I used to do makeup, uh, little makeup videos and anything that's not a perfume video, don't nobody watch. So, I'm like, <laughs> whatever. Um, so, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, baby. This one is much better. This toilet much better than the original. It just it's just sweeter. Oh, here we go. It's just sweeter. So if y'all looking for this online, this is how you know the difference. This one has a solid gold front, and this one has an open open front. So you can see the liquid in there. So that's how you know the difference. Y'all. Yep. I probably could sell this. Yeah, I am. Because I don't ever wear it for real. And you know what? This actually reminds me a little bit of the... um Of this. But I like this better. This is the Lady Million. So, if I have this, I don't really need the Versace Eros. I like this better. It has more of a fruitier smell to me. Like more raspberry. Okay. Um, The last perfume that I'm going to talk about is... Okay, hold on. Let's talk about this Time for White Patchouli. Um, I bought this because I thought it would be like a good spring perfume. It is a good spring perfume. It is okay, white patchouli. It has that patchouli in there, but it's a fresh patchouli, which sounds weird, but it's a fresh patchouli. I guess that's why well I call it white patchouli. Um, but it almost smells like, mm, I don't even know how to, let me spray this. Let me spray this, y'all. I feel like I've been spraying in the same damn spots. I'm probably smelling all the perfumes together. It's, it's a fresh, it's a fresh patchouli shit. I don't even know how else to describe it. It doesn't smell dirty. It doesn't smell, but you still get the patchouli, okay? It's called white patchouli, but... It's rounded off around the edges. It's a little sweet. Um, it's a little sweet. And it just has almost like a... If you smell it like on your clothes, it almost smells like laundry a little bit. But laundry that didn't have no uh, fabric softeners in there. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> have you ever did laundry and forgot to put the fabric softener in there? Like, that's kind of how it smell. It's cool. I kind of like it, but, you know, it's it's decent. And I'm still trying to work with it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, the EDT, the Eros EDT smells good. The last one I'm going to talk about is the... Uh, my mama bought me this. Uh, she actually just gave it to me um the other night. She's like, I got a surprise for you. So she bought me this um uh, Mercedes 
Ben's um Eau de Parfum. It's a pretty fragrance, y'all. It's real pretty. And it's a nice spring perfume. It has like a, it's like that rose fruity type of perfume, but it has a little more like sugar in it a little bit. Um, and I have a Mercedes, so that's why she bought it for me. And I was like, oh, I can't uh, be smelling like my car or whatever. Like Trina, that's my car's name. Her car, my car's name is Trina. Mm hmm Because she the baddest bitch. That's why I call her Trina. And so I'm like, I'm going to be smelling like Trina because I'm going to just probably keep this in my car until it gets too hot. Then I'm going to take it out. I'm going to be spraying this all in my car or whatever. Like, that's that Mercedes smell. But, yeah, it is, it smells really pretty. Like, when I had, when she gave it to me, I was letting everybody smell it. And everybody would love how it smell. It's very light, though. It's very light. And I almost think they got an EDT and an EDP. And this is the EDP, but it's still light. So, and it's something that you are going to smell on you. Uh, it's, you going to smell it on you a little later or whatever and be like, oh, it's still there. But, yeah, that's how this is. But, you know I had to have this because I got a Mercedes. So, hey, if you got a Mercedes or you... I'm just going to keep it, y'all, and just be like, uh-huh, I smell like luxury or whatnot. But, yeah. I don't know, y'all. I think I'm pretty much done. If your arm fall off. I know. I keep spraying in the same spots. I'm probably smelling the same stuff. Now, since we over here, the only one that I'm probably going to end up getting rid of, y'all didn't ruin for me. Is that dang on Twilly? Where is she at? The Twilly? <sighs> I just got her too. Y'all ruined it for me that quick. Y'all talking about it smell like pickle juice. Yeah, it smelled like pickle juice. Somebody told me it did. Dre said it smelled like pencil shavings. And so she probably gonna be in my next declutter. Dang, man, I really wanted this because I don't have any Hermes, y'all. No Hermes perf perfumes. And I really wanted one, but I can never really find one that I really, really like. She said, what? It does not. That's what I thought when she told me that it smelled like, she said it smelled like pickle juice or whatever. And I'm like, it don't smell like pickle juice. Ever since she said that, this is the, uh, but this is the old oh, poor bag. This the flanker. Ever since she said that, I swear to God, I smell pickle juice now. This the same, that same pickle juice smell I smell in the Decadence. Marc Jacob Decadence, I cannot wear that perfume. Ever, I, it has always smelled like pickle juice to me. I need to figure out what note is in both of these that's giving me that. And I didn't even smell it at first. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'll try it again or something, but... Ooh, yeah so this smell like pickle juice and opinionated juice said the issue well you said the one thing smelled like a morgue this smelled like a morgue y'all ruining all my little favorite stuff i'm just i probably just need to stop telling y'all about stuff <laughs> all right you guys well thank you for tuning in she's also people gotta stop saying how you gonna get mad Hold on. Opinionated, how you gonna get mad that she said it smelled like pickle juice, but you said that this smelled like a morgue? That's worse than some pickle juice. Talking about that. They need to stop saying that kind of stuff. You said the perfume smelled dead. Okay, y'all. So we um we are going to conclude this thank you guys for tuning in make sure that you like and subscribe and i will be doing the drawing for the giveaway really soon uh-huh <laughs> never been in a morgue so i'll be doing a drawing for that really soon and you guys thank you for tuning in and supporting and um i'm gonna just finish the rest of my wine or whatnot one day y'all we just gonna get on here we ain't even gotta talk about perfume we're gonna talk about all kind of stuff we gonna talk about any and everything. That'll be fun. Cause y'all be giving me life. We be talking about all kinds of stuff. All right. So, bye bye, you guys. See you later. <laughs>